Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Grapplox. Now Grapplox is a fighter type Pokemon which probably will be mistaken for a water type Pokemon by a lot of people. I know originally I thought it would be water fighting but it is just fighting. It has good attack stats, relatively good defenses with relatively good HP, special attacks not very good and its speed is pretty low. A little bit too high to be the best user in a trick room, but definitely still viable to be used in a trick room. I think if the speed is anything less than 60, then it should be okay in a trick room. And I can't guarantee that, obviously, but it will probably be somewhat good in a trick room. I've said trick room way too many times. So we're just going to jump into this set. I've got two generic and one Dynamax. The first set we have is a bulk up set allowing for you to increase up your attack and your defense and create what I have tried to do as a more bulky Pokemon. Now, on here we have Limber, the basically meaning you can't get paralyzed. The only other option would be to have Technician. Now, with the moves you have on this set, there's no point in having Technician, so we might as well just make sure that we can't get paralyzed. That's the um, only other ability we can use. So bulk up to raise up your attack and your defense, and we're running max special defense on here to allow you to be a bit more tanky to take hits on different sides, and I'll talk through different EV variants you can have on this in just a second. But move wise, we have Drain Punch, which is a good fighter type attack, and it can allow you to heal yourself up. Now, I love using Drain Punch a lot, and if you're being a bit more of a tanky Pokemon, you do want to be able to reheal somewhat. We've then got Pain Split, which when used right, can allow you to gain a lot of health back and your opponent to lose a lot of health but you do have to play it in the right scenarios if it's a low hp pokemon obviously you do not want to click pain split because your health will go down potentially and cause a lot of issues for you maybe the final move i put on here was waterfall now i like waterfall as a move you could use liquidation liquidation is slightly more powerful um, but that is up to you what you decide to go for I've got leftovers on here. You could always run something like a life orb if you wanted to, but I thought leftovers works a little bit better with the kind of tanky idea that I'm going for here. So as I said, you know, max HP and max special defense, allowing for special defense to be as high as possible to tank hits on both sides. But if you wanted to, you could even run max HP and max attack with an adamant nature. You could run max HP with max defense with a calm nature. Oh no, sorry, not calm. Uh, with an impish nature if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you how you decide to run this. Um, you could even run this as a minus speed nature, so brave or quiet. Uh, not quiet, brave or sassy, or I don't know what the other one would be, but yeah, I think it's hasty maybe. But yeah, you can run that however you want to run that. It's up to you. You can vary this how you like. The second set we have is an assault vest set with power up punch. Now the good thing about power up punch is it can raise up your attack stat by one every time that you use it. I believe it is a egg move, so and it is quite difficult to get on from what I can remember, but I might be thinking that's slightly wrong. But yeah, we have power punch allowing you to raise up your attack stat by one stage each time it's used. And then move wise we have ice punch, liquidation and sucker punch. Now ice punch super effective against flying types, liquidation powerful water type attack it's a variety of Pokemon. And Sucker Punch, which is a priority move, it's nice to have some priority because of your um, quite slow speed here as well. Assault Vest on here, allowing you to... Um, I've lost my train of thought yet again. Uh, assault Vest, allowing for 1.5 times in your special defense, just making you a little bit more bulky on that side. You could add Drain Punch onto this set if you wanted to make sure that you was healing up a little bit more. Uh, that is an option for you. Now... Eevee-wise, this is a little bit all over the place, but I'll explain kind of where my idea was going from, and then I'll give you some different variants. So we have max HP, max defense, four in special defense, and a adamant nature. So I thought here, as you're raising up your attack stat, maybe having the adamant nature would just give you that little bit of a boost, uh, but possibly not having that extra plus in the defense. So it means that um, you've just got that extra attack power. You could always go for a uh, impish nature if you wanted to. I put the four in special defense to allow for that assault vest to just get that little bit more damage off there. Um, so yeah, you could run this as max HP, max attack, max HP, uh, max defense, max HP, max special defense if you wanted to. A couple of different options that you could run, especially based on what different movesets you go for. So if you're going for more of the drain punch, you might want to go more defensive, but it depends what you're looking for for your team. The final set we have and the Dynamax set is... Um, a life orb set, so you can also have a choice band on here if you wish. Now, choice bands aren't activated when you're dynamaxed, so you can use any move that you want. 
I would recommend Dynamaxing it again. In this set, we haven't got anything below base 60 power, so we have Limber as our ability. We have Close Combat, which is a powerful uh, fight type attack on turn to Max Knuckle, allowing you to raise up your attack stat by one stage. We've got Stomping Tantrum, which is a powerful ground type attack. It will turn to Max Quake and allow you to raise up your special defense by one stage each time you use it. And Waterfall will set up the rain if you need it, maybe for another member of your team, for example. And then Pain Split will turn to Max Guard, or you can use it to make sure that your health is being conserved later on. As I've said previously, you could put Drain Punch on here instead of Close Combat, depending on what you're wanting from the rolls. Uh, but it's up to you what you decide to go for. With Life Orb, do make sure you're paying attention to your health, because it can dwindle down very, very quickly if you're not paying attention. EV's gone for max HP and max attack with an adamant nature, so more attack, less special attack, and four EVs in special defense. That is all for Grapple Locks. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon.